Hello everybody and welcome back. Good to talk to all of you again today and today I'm finally going to talk about the Italian cruisers that have been announced on the super test dev vlog thing. And so interesting things about these new Italian cruisers is that there's two interesting special quirks or characteristics of these ships. The first thing is that they're going to have semi armor piercing shells and the second one is that they're going to have something called a fuel smoke. So first let's talk about SAP because that is the new shell type. And so the SAP shell type works as sort of like an in-between between what armor piercing is and what high explosive is. So they've got some aspects of armor piercing shells, which means they have to first deal with whether or not they overmatch. And in that case, the 14.3 caliber rule still applies. And as you're dealing with guns no bigger than 203 millimeters, well, in most cases, you're not really doing much overmatching. So then, of course, the next thing that you got to deal with is the auto bounce. And these shells have really, really comfortable auto bouncing angles. They start at 60 and they go to 85, which means that 60 degrees to the whatever piece of armor, um, you have 0% chance of the shell auto bouncing. And at 85, it's 100% chance of the shell auto bouncing. So once you pass that check, then normally you deal with penetration mechanics. But in this case, well, the SAP shells sort of behave similar to the high explosive ones they just penetrate and explode and do damage. So semi arm piercing shells don't do over penetrations. So that's a sort of a good perk. That considering the fact that they are doing penetrations and then you look at, for example, the amount of damage they can do, well, the Italian cruisers look like they're gonna be able to put out some pretty consistent damage. However, SAP doesn't cause any fires so that your damage is really gonna be coming from sheer penetration damage alone. And so that's why the damage is better than high explosive shells, right? Okay, now they did make mm, sort of one little mention here is that SAP shells deal only 10% of the damage to destroyers. Hmm, not really sure how that's going to work out. Um, maybe these cruisers are just not going to be that great against DDs, and their primary goal is to counter other cruisers and battleships. Could be an interesting thing, we'll have to see. Other than that, the other unique consumable thing is the fuel smokes. And so what the fuel smokes do is that they're similar to a normal smoke generator, but a ship that has this consumable can pop the consumable and then be concealed at full speed. So you might first look at that and go, what? Why? That sounds ridiculous, right? Like it's crazy overpowered that you're going to be able to continue at full speed and have this smoke going. Well, wait until I show you the actual ships and you understand why this particular fuel smoke is actually a bit of a necessity and it's actually not as broken because Italian ships cannot be using these things all the time. This fuel smoke for them is almost purely defensive, and you'll see exactly why when I get to the higher tier ships that have them. So other than that, let's take a look at the tier 1 to 10 ships. I'll start at tier 1, which is, you know, not going to be talking too much about it. And as we get to the higher tiers, I'll point out some interesting stuff for you. Okay, so tier 1 is the Eritrea, and this is obviously, like many of the other tier 1s, a pretty boring ship. Um, take a look at the model. There you go. She's not a bad looking ship. Uh, historically, this was a colonial sloop, if I remember correctly. She was meant to um, uh, sort of go out to the colonies of that time and be the warship there. Um, 420 millimeter guns, they fire pretty much HE only. And of course, armor is completely negligible at only six millimeters. Tier one, not really much to talk about. Tier two, and we get to Nino Bixio. And again, low tier ships, not all that much to talk about. I mean, let's take a look here. She's got eight 120 millimeter guns. So she does have a lot of little pew pew things. <laughs> 11.3 kilometer range. Uh, she does begin to have the semi armor piercing. And so this is really the first time you're gonna see it. Other than that, uh, for a low tier ship down at tier two, she's not exactly slow, 26.8 knots. Um, you know, but again, not too, too much to talk about. Take a look at her. She's actually not a bad looking ship, to be honest. Um, but, you know, kind of small guns, right? Like kind of DD guns on a cruiser type ship. Armor wise, well, there it is. There is the Citadel armor, and you can see it's kind of sloped in a way. And let's see if there's a belt armor on the outside here that we can talk about. No, actually there's no belt. Wow, okay, six millimeter outer armor. And then you got this 38 millimeter sort of like slanted piece, which at low tiers is actually not necessarily a bad thing considering, let's take a look at the waterline. You know, if you're dealing with a lot of ships that are shooting at closer ranges or their ballistics are rather more flat, you know, they would hit that and possibly bounce, not really do that much damage. So yeah, okay, moving on. 
All right, tier three, and we have the Italian cruiser Taranto. So this particular ship, take a look at it. Um, well, 10 kilometer, 10.5 kilometer firing range. 150 millimeter gun. She's got seven of them in total. She's got two by two, 533 millimeter torpedo tubes. Okay, she's a pretty fast ship, 28.2 knots. Turning radius, not bad at 450 meters. Okay. Looks like going to be a reasonable rudder shift time as well. Take a look a little bit more with the guns. 13 second reload time. That's going to be like an Italian thing. Slow reloading guns, but she is going to have the SAP shells. Now the thing about the SAP shells, take a look at it, is good initial projectile velocity. At the lower tiers, not the world's greatest air drag. So, but then again, you only have like 10.5 kilometer range, so I think that's going to be okay. Your shells are going to get there in a reasonable amount of time. Um, at the higher tiers though, the Italian ships, Judging by the numbers, they're going to have some pretty amazing ballistics. So, yeah, we're looking forward to actually being able to try them in a game. So, let's take a look here. Yeah, I mean, not the world's best firing arcs, but actually not bad. 30 degree forward, get all five turrets out. Yeah, it's not bad at all, actually. The firing arcs are not bad on the ship. Take a look at some other things. Actually, nope. Now, the next thing that I want to look at is take a look at her model, first of all. Oh, okay, she's, no, again, not a bad looking ship. The Italians do have a way of even making their older ships still look actually pretty decent here. But yeah, okay, even though it says you've got like eight guns in total, only one, two, three, four, five of them are going to be on target any one time. Okay, all right. Take a look at the armor model. Okay, that's uh, not so bad. Citadel is a little bit above water. Is there a special shape to it? See here, let's see if there's a specific shape. Yeah, so once again, it's that sort of sloped um, kind of armor, which when you're dealing with lower tier ships and if the fire's not coming in from like a plunging sort of height, um, this kind of armor could actually work, you know, and this is 40 millimeters. So if you hit at a low enough angle, shell will probably just ricochet there. And then let's see, exterior armor protection. Yeah, it's the same six millimeters. I mean, it's not necessarily, ooh, actually this one actually has an L-type belt too. So, ooh. Yeah, so she's got a 60 millimeter outer belt and then a 40 millimeter internal slope piece. Okay, so yeah, she actually might have reasonable protection. Not bad at all. All right, let's move on. Jusano, ooh, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Tier four, okay, so tier four, 15.5 kilometer range. Okay, that's not bad range wise. She's got four dual 152 millimeters. Okay, so this is now like, I think legitimate, we're getting into like light cruiser territory and sort of more modern light cruisers. Um, okay, so she's got those torpedoes, but Italian torpedoes are not just all that great, right? Let's take a look at this. Yeah, <laughs> eight kilometer distance, not the greatest in damage. Okay, so yeah, I mean, Italians, right? The torpedoes are their thing. Ooh, look at that speed, 36.5 knots. So it's gonna be a nice and fast cruiser at, at tier four, especially. 580 meter turn radius. Okay, so she's a nice, Beady little boat, <laughs> shall we say that? Um, pretty decent firing range, actually. Wow, like fully upgraded. Stosh is 14.1, fully upgraded, she's 15.5, wow. Firing range is good. She also has the semi armor piercing. Look at those ballistics 950 meter per second velocity, 0 0.325 air drag. Yeah, so she's gonna have some pretty nice ballistics, I would think. Um, but does she have any issues? Let's find out. She's definitely pretty. I mean, wow. She's got those sort of very Italian lines for the cruiser. Nice looking ship, by the way. Ooh, yeah, very nice looking ship. But, <laughs> but, oh, speaking of which, take a look. She's probably not got that uh, fuel smoke thing yet. Tier four, she doesn't have it. But take a look at the armor. And this is where her armor is really interesting because take a look at that. That's an above water 20 millimeter citadel piece. And you're thinking, oh God, <laughs> is there anything else that's gonna be not so good? Well, take a look here. There is an outer piece that's 24 millimeters. So 24, 20. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that firing range I think is gonna be a necessary thing because I don't think the ship wants to get anywhere close to anybody that can actually sit it on her. She's gonna wanna stay at distance and sort of hammer away from that kind of distance because that armor, ooh, that armor. I mean, you know, you might be able to get away with 
like occasionally a full broadside where just a ship just straight up over penetrates your citadel like that might be possible but oh yeah you know she might actually have that french low tier cruiser playstyle where you actually want to give ships broadside like just have it flat right because even if you angle like that once that armor just gets a little bit thicker right if a battleship hits you and the shell arms you might just be eating massive citadel damage so very possible that you might have to go full broadside. Moving on, and we're moving to tier 5, and this is the Montecuccoli. And this particular ship is the first time on the Italian line you're going to see that fuel smoke generator come up. Now, there's a very peculiar reason why this smoke is going to start at tier 5, and I'll sort of show you how it affects her all the way up. But first, let's take a look at how she is when she is fully upgraded. She's actually got a little bit less range than the tier 4. 14.89. <laughs> um, okay. Four dual 152 millimeters. The armament stays pretty much the same in terms of the number of guns. She's got the same number of torpedoes. Okay. Maximum speed is 37 knots. So she's a fast cruiser. Turning the circle radius, 610 meters. So pretty agile still. Rudder shift time, still pretty darn good. Main battery, 13 second reload time, so the reload is going to be on the slow side. She does have that semi-armor piercing, and she actually also has armor piercing as well, but my guess is most likely most people are just going to be using semi-armor piercing all the way. It's going to be the much more sort of standard am ammo, I guess, ammunition for this particular ship. Um, if you can do nice consistent damage, and you're not really going to get citadels on most things unless they're close anyways. Uh, might as well just stick with the semi-armor piercing. Also, look at the ballistics. Way better. 950 meter per second. The ballistics are actually going to be different, so that might actually mess people up switching between the two. Um, and better air drag too, 0 0.325. So that means the shells are probably going to be nice and flat. They're going to get down range in a hurry. So that's going to be like an Italian ship thing, isn't it? <laughs> um... Obviously, let's take a look at A as well, because again, once it's tier 5, you're really going to start looking at A just to see what kind of thing you're going to get. And we're really going to be looking at sort of the damage per second. Eh, it's not that great. I mean, Italian A is always going to be kind of meh. Okay, but let's get to the important stuff. First of all, what does she look like? Yeah, <laughs> she's pretty. Yeah, I mean, Italian cruisers, right? very very pretty long sleek will go fast but that speed comes at a cost and the cost is right here so that is the outer belt armor it is 60 millimeters so you no longer get the ability to just go full broadside right battleships that hit that belt the shells are going to arm they're actually going to arm and then the fuse time is going to tick and then they have to penetrate one more inner layer and yeah, that's 25 millimeters thick. So, take a look at it and you'll notice a problem. Uh, that's not the piece there. I'm looking for the other piece here. Oh, it's 30. Here we go. So, you've got that 30 millimeter under the turrets. You got 25 millimeter for the citadel armor at the center section where the engine is. And you'll notice that's a really long citadel, for goodness sakes. And then you have this one piece that's 60 on the outer side. So, the Italian cruisers and i think this is what the fuel smoke really is going to be for is that when you need to disengage and you need to show that broadside and you're not going to have a lot of charges too i think it's only like two charges with superintendent will be three maximum it's three sort of get yourself out of maybe not the best situation because if you get caught with your pants down and you're not hyper aware of the shots coming in or whatever italian cruisers you can get deleted just straight out by battleships. This is this is a huge citadel. That's a huge citadel, and you can't get deleted. Um, so I can begin to understand why this magic smoke generator is going to be there, right? The premium one has two charges, and look at the reload time. It's 180, so that's a long reload. Um, I think let's take a look at this uh, dev blog article. I think they might give us any better detailed information. Let's take a look here. So that's the tier six. Nope, that's can't I can't read right now. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Tier five. That's what we're looking at. Fuel smoke. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Right. Not that many charges. Two max. 180 second cooldown. So that means 
you do get a get out of jail free card, but if you waste it or you screw up with it or you still get caught in a bad position, you very quickly can just straight up get deleted. So that I think is the the, the sort of the key thing that you got to take away from these Italian cruisers is that that fuel smoke has to be used to sort of be you know defensively protecting you because otherwise yikes all right but once you get past the tier five and you get to tier six this is when you begin to see the heavy cruisers so this is when you've got the four dual 203 millimeter uh 16.9 kilometer range fully upgraded that's pretty good range at tier six for a cruiser because it's almost 17 kilometer range that's not bad at all she's still fast 35 knots still pretty agile 630 meter turning radius um, you know, all along, Italian ships, they're going to have that sort of commonality. They're going to be pretty fast. Armor-wise, they're a little bit kind of sketchy. They're really going to be depending on that ability to sort of stay at range and fire these SAP shells. Ballistics-wise, 840 meter per second. Again, sort of high velocity for 203 millimeter, 0.319 air drag. So, you know, shells are going to get down range nicely. Uh, damage is not bad, actually, 4,850 that's pretty good alpha damage. I mean, compared to just straight up AP. AP is, ooh, wait, where is it? No, no, wait, what? Oh, there it is, okay, yeah, 4,700 is the AP. Sorry, for a moment there, I, I kept seeing CS on both of them, I was like, what, what? No, this is the semi-armor piercing shell there. Okay, um, yeah, so other than that, let's take a look at the heavy cruisers. Ooh, Italian heavy cruisers. <laughs> Italian cruisers, they're just pretty, like, Look at that. Ooh, pretty ships. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I like them. Okay. But once again, same problem. Take a look at this. <laughs> if that number sort of made you cringe, and take, first of all, take a look at the size of that citadel. My God, right? 70 millimeters only. Like, you're fast, you're maneuverable, but you got 70 millimeters as your citadel armor. Like, yikes. Yeah, that fuel smoke. Um, get in trouble. You're going to need it because if you turn broadside and you don't have it, you can expect to get deleted like death strike incoming right there all right moving on let's take a look at the next ship so the zara is the one at tier seven okay fully upgrade what what the tier six fully upgraded had 16.9 kilometer range the tier seven fully upgraded had huh I, I don't get that number. That That's probably going to get changed. I, I expect that to get buffed because that makes no sense. Anyways, four dual 203 millimeters, so the same sort of ar uh, armament layout. Um, ooh, she's got triple torpedoes down. What about the previous one? Okay, nope, also triple torpedoes. So two by threes, okay. It's much slower too. 32 knots. Turning circle radius is actually better at 580, so like super, super agile ship. Zara is going to be kind of interesting. Uh, let's take a look at her ballistics. Ooh, look at those ballistics. 900 meter per second shell, 0 0.256 air drag, 5,050 uh, semi arm piercing damage. Oh, these shells, oh, 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 they're going to get downrange really, really well. Yeah, that might actually be the fun part. Firing arcs are good, 30 degree, you get all four turrets out. And at the back, yeah, that's really good. Nice, nice firing arcs. Fast ship, very, very agile. Um, but, you know, typical Italian heavy cruisers, you're going to see that they're going to run into that particular problem again. Oh, yes. <laughs> None of them are immune to this problem. Here it is. <laughs> I mean, it's thicker armor this time, so much, much better than the tier 6 in this regard. But 150 millimeter and above water citadel. Now, thankfully, judging from what I can tell here, she's a smaller ship, actually. And I think her armor is actually not as... Yeah, her citadel is smaller. Like, much, much smaller because she's got a much bigger bow, actually, if you take a look at that. Like, ooh, more on the bow, more on the uh, stern area. Her armor box protection area is actually smaller uh, compared to the Tier 6. But again, above water, not as much above water but still above water 150 millimeter though i mean at least you can do some kind of self-protection by angling but do above water citadels gonna be tough okay now we're moving on to the tier uh this would be the tier eight now 
and there has been a name change. So this name, Verona, is the old one. They've changed it to Amalfi. So it's a historical port town on the west coast of Italy, and there was a ship, an armored cruiser, that had it at the beginning of the 20th century. So at tier 8, I have this upgraded, right? Okay, this absolutely cannot stay, because stock, she's got four, under 14 kilometer range, fully upgraded, 15.345. Okay, I, I don't really understand why this range is so low. I'm, I'm going to guess that this is going to get buffed because, I mean, right now the tier six has more range. Like, okay, <laughs> you've got quad torpedoes. Okay, so that's kind of a slight improvement torpedo-wise. Once again, we're going to talk about the, oh, by the way, 37 knots, still fast, still good turning radius, 680 meters. So still nice and agile for ships. Let's take a look at the shells. Shells matter. Oh yes, oh yes, 950 meter per second, 0 0.234 air drag. She is going to depend a lot on the ability to dodge and weave and kite, 5200 damage. So that is going to be good salvo. Reload time I know is slow at 16 seconds. I know that's going to be kind of the thing that a lot of people are going to be like, oh, the reload time takes forever, but she's the kind of ship that's fast, gets to position, you're going to hammer away and then quickly run away, right? Because again, you've got you do have that card to get uh, away from people, right? You you have that disengage ability. Although I do wish the ship has more range. My guess is probably going to happen because again, you know these are still in super test and not even anywhere near our hands yet. So I'm assuming that that number is going to get tweaked as she uh, yeah makes her way to our hands. <sighs> I can look at her all day. Wow. Wow. You are pretty. She's got like, kind of like the way the Roma is. She's got like sort of that look. I like you. Ooh, you are a pretty boat. Pretty, very pretty. And of course, <laughs> that above water citadel thing is just going to be there all the way through, right? And that is the weakness. That is going to be the major weakness for the ship. She is going to have to depend on dodging and weaving and kiting and doing these kinds of things to stay alive. 150 millimeters of armor with an above water citadel, yeah. You're gonna have to really preserve those smokes for those really oh screwed up moments because otherwise, oh boy, right? Um, if you don't have one and you get caught with broadside, somebody is going to delete you straight up. But ballistics wise, ooh, these ships are beautiful. I'm just looking at those numbers for the uh, guns and I'm just drooling at those numbers. At tier 9, we have the currently named Torino, which they have changed to Brindisi. And again, another historical port town on the east coast of Italy. And it would belong to a 1920s, 1930s light cruiser, which actually didn't belong to the Italians. If I remember correctly, that name was actually given to a ship that was from the Austro-Hungarians. Hmm. Anyways. Finally, the range is getting a little bit better. Like, not really the best, but it has gotten better, right? 16.73, fully upgraded. And again, this is tier 9, so you can equip a range mod. You can really get that range to be like quite a bit better, which hopefully like some of the tier, I think the 7 and the 8, those need like a slight bump on the range there. You've got 12 now of these 203 millimeter guns, so that's really, really nice. Ship is still fast, 36.7 knots. Uh, turning radius is still good at 730 meters. Um, I mean, again, surface detectability, we'll all have to see later on when everything gets in game, but... For now, let's take a look at her guns. These ballistics, I can drool over these ballistics all day long. Oh my, 950 meter per second, 0 0.234 air drag. I can just, oh, 2.05 sigma, yes, yes, yes. The guns are going to be beautiful. I like these ship's guns. And they're so pretty, they're just so pretty. I can look at Italian ships like all day long. They are just, they are works of art, like, oof, sorry, zoomed in a little bit, whoa, okay, my bad, that was a little bit too much, my bad, my bad, my bad, oh yes, oh yes, oh, pretty ships, just pretty, pretty, pretty ships, I can look at Italian ships all day, it's like, it, it was the same thing for Roma, like, Roma for me sits in my port, and I just look at her, and I'm like, yes, you are pretty, I don't really play her all that much, because she just, drives me nuts but nice to look at <laughs>
But holy God, would you look at that above water citadel? That is a really big above water citadel. Oh my God. Oh my God, that is in a big above water citadel. 150 millimeters again. But yeah, yeah. If you're going to play Italian cruisers, <laughs> that's smoke. You, you're going to depend on it. Otherwise, blap, you dead. Back to port. Finally, tier 10. No longer called Milano. They've changed the name to Venezia, so that is good. Um, and again, they named it after a cruiser from the 1920s, 30s. Okay, 17.13 kilometer range. Again, you can throw on the range module, so range is going to be no problem. You got 15 of these 203 millimeter guns. 15 of them. Holy God. Wow, 15 of them. All right, that is going to be a thing. Still fast, 36.6 knots. Still nice and agile at 760 meter turn radius. Oh, yes, these ships, these ships. Take a look at the shells and yep, same ballistics, right? 950, 0 0.234, 5200 damage, but you've just got more and more of them. I think that's like the thing, right? You go from like nine to 12 to 15, like just get more guns. It's like, that is awesome. It's amazing. Even the regular AP is gonna have pretty good ballistics, right? 910 meter per second, 0 0.237 air drag. Yeah, but I don't think you're gonna be using these shells. Yeah. They might as well just make the mono shell type kind of like the British for the you know, British uh, cruisers. They have only the singular armor piercing. They should just be like mono type semi armor piercing because I really don't see people using AP all that much. Well, I mean, unless the pro players, I mean, like oh, the Unicom players, they'll figure out when to switch between the two of them, right? Perfect broadsides. The AP is gonna do probably nice things if you can get citadels. Mm. Sector fire is good, 32 degree, get all five turrets out. So arcs of fire is good for the guns, not gonna really have trouble getting all of them out. And, oh yes. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> uh, Wargaming, uh, I, th I, th I think something happened to your models. Um, because I, I, I think that forward number two turret there is uh, shoving its barrels straight into the number one turret. I, I, I guess there's some sort of like Italian super hybrid fusion cannon there going on. <laughs> I think you guys might want to move that turret a little bit or something. I Actually, I don't know. How, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure how they're going to. Well, I guess they could just make that like elevated up or something that could fix it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the rear guns are fine. Pretty ship though. Still really pretty. Oh yes, really pretty. Number two turret has to be fixed, but gorgeous ship nonetheless. Wow, just wow. But, oh yes, you guessed it. <laughs> 165 millimeter, although this armor is spaced. Ooh, there's something new. This is spaced now. So that means that there's actually an outer layer and then the citadel kind of wraps down there as well, but yep, and there it is. There is the, oh, wait, you can't be serious, right? Is this the armor? I like the tier 10's protection. Wow, okay, wait a second here. The tier 10's got something really different from the tier nine because the tier nine doesn't have spaced. Nope, tier nine's got the standard 25 bow. She's got a little piece at the bottom there. I think it's gonna be, let's take a look here, 50. There's this one piece here that's 50, but nothing else special in there. So she does have a small little like ice breaking piece, I guess, if you wanna think about it that way, but that's really not gonna do much because the top part is just a huge 25 millimeter bow. So the tier nine doesn't get anything but the tier 10. Oh, this is something special. This is something special because this is a 40 millimeter piece that goes from this part of the bow along the side oh, and all to the stern. Wow, that is a giant piece that if you angle correctly, not even Yamato can get through that. That is significant. Ooh, the 40, okay. The Italian tier 10 seems to be really nicely protected. Holy God, wow. Yeah, and then underneath that, you still have the sloped 165 millimeter piece and then that spaced armor there. So that could be a black hole generator, which I don't really think is gonna be necessary considering that's a 40 millimeter piece. 
Ooh, the tier 10 is really nice. Wow. Okay, so if all things stay the same, this ship is going to be an amazing little monster of a ship. Okay, so the Italian line is um, definitely one to look forward to from what I can tell. I mean, I mean, I guess if you get called broadside, you're still kind of in trouble. But if you angle correctly with the tier 10, like she's going to be amazing. Anyways, okay. Italian cruisers, overall feel, it's going to be very nice ballistics on the guns. Um, mid tier is a little bit iffy range wise, but high tier seems to be just fine. Tier 9 and 10 seem to be just fine. Tier 10 seems to be amazingly well protected. Holy moly. Um, and the guns, the semi armor piercing shells, they look like they're going to be able to do some real good damage. Real time, I know, is going to be a little bit on the long side, but this is the kind of ship that I think is going to be with their speed and everything. You're going to have to get to the right positions, get off like one or two salvos, and then probably just bugger the heck out of there, right? Um, except for maybe the tier 10. The tier 10 can probably just hang in there because with that armor protection, woohoo! Yeah, okay, I'm looking forward to the tier 10. <laughs> Can't wait to get my hands on her. Anyways, folks, uh, that's pretty much everything I can sort of show you uh, right now from all the data mine data for the Italian cruisers. Um, if you got any comments, questions, whatever, leave those in the comment section below. I'd be happy to try to answer some of them for you. Anyways, I hope you all have yourself a really, really good day, and I will talk to all of you again tomorrow.